Salt Lake City, Victor Aladipo scored 28 points, and the Indiana Pacers shot 54% from three-point range in a 109-94 win over the Utah Jazz on Monday night, Tuesday, Manila time. Aladipo got going late in the second quarter during a 15-2 run that gave Indiana a 14-point lead. Then his back-to-back -back buckets early in the third capped a 9-0 surge to push the advantage to 67-47. He also had six rebounds and six assists. Demantas Sabanis finished with 15 points and eight rebounds for the Pacers, and Thaddeus Young scored 17. Donovan Mitchell scored 23 for the Jazz, while Derek Favors added 16 points and seven rebounds. The Jazz put themselves in a hole with seven first-quarter turnovers but rallied with a 14-0 spurt in the second to cut the deficit to 38-37. They never got that close again. The Pacers were efficient on offense all night, shooting 53% from the field and 14 of 26 from three-point territory. Indiana is 15-0 when shooting above 50% Pacers, Indiana began the night ranked second in the NBA in three-point shooting at 38. 3% Jazz, Raul Nito returned from a 15-game absence due to a concussion and bruised left knee. Rudy Gobert went through an extensive workout with braces on both knees before the game. He's thought to be close to returning from a left PCL sprain and bone bruise. Pacers center Miles Turner did not play due to a ligament sprain and muscle strain in his right elbow. He will not play the remaining three games of the road trip. The team lists him as week to week depending on how quickly Turner heals, but said he will not need surgery. Jazz forward Thabo Cephalacha has been diagnosed with a serious right knee sprain and wore a bulky brace before the game. The team has not announced a timeline for his return, but there are fears it could be a long-term injury. He's a very confident kid with a lot of talent, Pacers coach Nate McMillan said of Oladipo. We knew that he had potential in making the move to trade him for Paul, George. He's showing pretty much what I think the league expected him to become. He's come out very aggressive this season. I think he feels he has something to prove to not only himself, but to the league. Pacers travel to face Damian Lillard and the Portland Trail Blazers on Thursday.